My memory did not support her malpractice claim. Afterwards, her lawyer dropped her case based on my deposition and tried to hit her up for costs. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody is feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. You guys read the title. Let's just get into it. So, revenge on the ex-wife. Oh man. The ex. Ex-wife was psychologically abusive to me and the kids. She was a constant liar and manipulator and did all she could to ruin me financially during and after the marriage. She also tried very hard and was successful for a few years at turning the kids against me. She was and still is a nasty hypocrite. The backstory. While married to her, she was in the hospital for a minor accident. And while in the hospital, she was asking me to help her out of the bed so she could look in the mirror to see if she had bruises on her face from the minor accident. I helped her out of bed and while at the mirror and in front of the sink, she fainted and fell before I could catch her. She hit her head on the sink and the fall broke her wrist when she landed on it. I called the nurse and subsequently they stitched up her lip and, and set her wrist. A year or so later, she contacted a lawyer to sue the hospital. Meanwhile, we get divorced. The divorce is nasty and she is nasty. She tries to get me arrested many times when I try to see the kids on scheduled time. She contacted all of my friends and tried to turn them away from me. She hassled my parents and sisters, first trying to be their friend and tried to turn them against me. And when that didn't work, she attacked them with nasty phone calls and baseless accusations. Meanwhile, her malpractice suit is proceeding and her lawyer wanted me to give a deposition to support it. I agree, but on the condition that they have to pay me for my time and cost. The Revenge I was supposed to support their claim that the ex was not given instructions about staying in bed and that the bed rails were not put up as a reminder for her to stay in bed and that consequently it was the hospital's fault that she was able to get up and then faint and fall. I said that I didn't remember any of that, that she demanded that she get up and that I help her and that we are not going to wait for the nurse to help. In my deposition, I told the truth as I remembered it. My memory did not support her malpractice claim. Afterwards, her lawyer dropped her case based on my deposition and tried to hit her up for costs, but she screwed him like she did everyone else. To sum everything up, my deposition destroyed her malpractice claim. <laughs> nice. Let me give my thoughts. E, that's what she gets. Miss Nasty trying to torment you. He didn't go into why they got a divorce or whatever, but it doesn't matter. They got a divorce and she tried to take advantage Oh, I'm going to lie on you. I'm going to try to destroy you. I'm going to turn your children against you. Man, that's hurtful. I don't understand people doing that. I'm going to tell the kids all the bad things you did, all the bad things you do so they can hate you. You know how many fathers? Actually, I saw a video. There's a video out there. Someone did it on YouTube or, or reacted to it on YouTube. But basically, the video is this man calls his daughter, young daughter. She sounds, she can't be no more than seven, six years old. And he calls his daughter, like, just wanting to talk and see how she's doing. And the daughter is talking so nasty to him, disrespecting her own father. And you know what that tells me? Just seeing that, that clip tells me that her mother has turned her their their daughter against her father that's horrible to do why would you do that because you're upset because he divorced you he left you he married somebody else whatever the situation is i think it's messed up to do that that's messed up to do something like that you don't do that 
And this lady is just a manipulator. She's trying to, she wanted to get up to check her face. I have to make sure my face isn't scratched and I'm still beautiful going against the doctor's orders, the nurse's orders, and you fell and broke your wrist. Now you want to sue the hospital. Ridiculous. Man, I'm glad you, I'm glad you didn't help her get over on that hospital. Good revenge story. I like it. I love it. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. If this is the first story you've heard on True Story, go ahead and stick around. I'm going to go ahead and attach, and attach a flashback story. With that being said, I'll catch you guys at the next one. AITA for refusing to support my wife through her diagnosis after her infidelity. Oh, man. He starts with, My wife and I had a pretty normal marriage. No kids. Both employed and really happy together. For 99% of our relationship, we didn't have any major problems. We made time for each other. So on and so forth. She recently went away with her friend for a girl's trip. The first two days after she came back, everything was fine. And on the third, we went to dinner with this friend and her boyfriend. Dinner went well, came home and we went to bed. Wife woke me up in the middle of the night, crying, saying there was something she had to tell me. Long story short, she had cheated on me the entire trip and her friend had cheated on her boyfriend as well. Apparently, the dinner together caused her to have an attack of conscience because she messaged my wife after I had fallen asleep, telling her that she was going to come clean to her partner, and my wife had to tell me as well, or she would. We talked, yelled, cried. I spent most of the night sick. She told me it was just a horribly stupid decision and was perfectly happy with me, which honestly makes it worse. Why risk a happy marriage for an affair? It wasn't my fault, the usual. I've been staying at my sister's place while we figure out the divorce. Now, before this went down, she had been scheduled for tests and scans for what we thought were relatively non-serious health problems. Turns out we were wrong, as I was just contacted last week by her cousin telling me a scan revealed cancer. I got in touch with my wife and we talked. She proved her diagnosis and filled me in on some details. She was understandably terrified and begged me to come back, to talk to her, to hug her, give her a chance, be there with her. I told her I wished her all the best. I'm very sorry for what she's going through and I know she's strong enough to make it through it, but I will help financially from a distance. I wasn't physically going back. They, not her, have been harassing me, telling me to man up and go to her. My own friends are split 50-50. I don't want to go back before anyone pulls the this is probably why she cheated card. No, we had a good marriage. We had a sit down talk every month to discuss anything wrong. We were solid. She just chose to take a chance on a quick thrill. Despite knowing cheating is 100% deal breaker for me. She never even planned to tell me until her friend forced her. While I certainly don't think anyone deserves this, I am sorry it happened to her. In my opinion, her diagnosis doesn't change our situation. I feel it'll be harder on both of us with me being there knowing I won't forgive her when it's over. It feels like prolonging the inevitable. And I feel like my obligation to her ended when she chose to betray our marriage. She has family and friends, so she isn't alone. I care about the woman I thought I married, but I no longer love who she turned out to be. So I feel... I'd be unfair to both of us for me to be there. I'm not trying to punish her. My heart just isn't in it anymore. AITA? Wow. And guys, he has an edit here. Let's check out this edit. To the Reddit detectives further down, when I said we talk every month about our problems, it doesn't mean we only talk once a month in strict time slots. We talked as often as needed but made a point at least once a month to sit down with each other and check in, see how we're feeling and so on. Secondly, I mentioned she proved her diagnosis because when I was told I didn't believe it. I figured it was a ploy to get me to come, to get me to come over and talk because she and her family has been trying to get me to re reconsider from the moment I left. 
I also didn't want numerous answers to be filled with the exact same speculation as far as how she cheated the entire trip. The two of them went with the purpose of meeting up with two specific people her friend knew, and I figured this would be easy to figure out, but I guess not. I knew her friend forced her to tell me because I demanded to see their messages after she told me she cheated. Finally, I know a lot of people post made up stories. I'm not one of these people. But short of providing personal details, I can't prove it. If I wanted karma, I wouldn't be on a throwaway. I posted here because when some of your own friends are telling you that you're unreasonable, I think it's time for neutral third party judgment and I was hoping for valuable insight which many people provided. To the mods, I'm sorry this post wasn't a great fit here. I'll post it in appropriate subs in the future. Sounds appropriate to me. Let me give my thoughts. I don't know. This post seems like it's in the right subreddit. You know, um, that's this is a good story to ask, ask the question, am I in a-hole for leaving my wife who was diagnosed? Now, here's the thing. Like you said, she's really not upset that she cheated. Obviously, she's she she had to tell you because her friend was going to tell you. She felt like it would have been worse if her friend told you. So she fessed up and, you know, it took her. She woke up in the middle middle of the night crying. Well, she 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 probably was already up planning this thing out. Let me put on my sad face. Let me start crying and let me wake him up urgently I, I have something to tell you i can't believe i did this to you and you looked through those messages you saw all the bullcrap you saw her talking to the guy you saw her talking to the friend they both were just getting it in having a great time now she needs you she has to have you back i i don't think you're an a-hole honestly i don't and here's the thing it's not like you're not still providing for her you said you'll help financially that's what's wrong with that you're helping from a distance she wants you there to hug her hold her kiss her she needs you she, did she she didn't think about that when she had someone else inside of her like you can't do that to people and expect them to be the same after you do it you know so unfortunately for her she has to suffer the consequences and she has to go through this diagnosis by herself like you said she has friends and family so she has support, but she still has you financially. Like most people, most people who would be considered a-holes would just disappear completely. Wouldn't even help financially, but you feel obligated. Hey, you were her husband. You need to help her. And, and, and that's, and that's what you're doing. So, I mean, it's like instant karma, you know, it's, and I don't, I don't think you're trying to get revenge on her for doing it. It's like, honestly, you're hurt. So you need to separate yourself from her. Like, what's wrong with that? I don't, I can't wait to read these comments to see what people are saying. I can't believe these, these friends that are saying you need to man up. And I just tell them like, Hey, I'm paying for it. She doesn't, she's, I'm paying, I'm helping her financially. What, what do you mean? Like this woman had another man for, for the entire trip, the entire trip. She was cheating with her friend, but now he needs to be there to hold her hand no no i don't think you're an a-hole at all but uh let's go ahead and check out these comments someone said to no one's surprise this threat has been brigaded from multiple subs thank them from ruining everyone's fun someone says nta you are right that you don't have any obligation to her after her choices personally though i couldn't imagine caring for someone loving them for years and then completely turning my back on them if they had cancer i imagine i would be filled with such regret if i didn't try to be there for them in the ways i could be as a friend especially if they died well here's the thing he he separated himself because he's hurt he can't stand to be around this woman who he doesn't know anymore it's not the same woman he married he's helping her out financially though come on give him some credit he responded and said to be honest i don't really want to be a friend either all i feel is hurt i gave her my best for years truly and she still chose selfishly to hurt me the way she did and now that she's hurting she wants me to be there again i feel like the night she told me she was unfaithful was the last time i seen her 
as the woman I loved. I have no desire to be cruel to her, and from the bottom of my heart I hope she recovers and finds someone new, learns from her mistakes, and lives a good life. I just don't want to be in her life anymore, in any capacity. Someone called out something a uh, commenter said. Personally, though, I couldn't imagine caring for someone, loving them for years, and then completely turning my back on them if they had cancer. Yeah, but I bet you also couldn't imagine caring for someone, loving them for years, remarrying them, and then cheating on them either. OP doesn't owe her ish. Someone said he's turning his back on her because she cheated, not because she has cancer. Thank you. People are missing that. Had she found out after the divorce went through, would his her friends be telling him to go back to her? She knew it was a deal breaker, so she ended her half of a, so she ended her half of the marriage when she cheated. OP just hadn't been told yet. It's also important that she only disclosed because she would have been outed otherwise. Maybe OP would have seen the situation differently and she'd been the one with the guilty conscience and not her friend. Someone said if only his wife had such consideration. Someone said NTA, this is my exact opinion here. I get it, but you're cold as ice brother. I'd likely be unable to flip the switch like that. Wow, really? I think, are people missing it? He, he didn't just disappear completely, which there are some savages out there that would do that. Screw you. Good luck. Don't, but this guy is still helping her financially. He's going to help her with the medical bills and things. I don't see the issue. He's a, he's a hurt man. What does he look like being there by her bedside, comforting her, hugging her, bringing her soup, knowing she was getting railed getting her back broken for a whole weekend and then comes back to him and sleeps in his bed next to him come on now that's some ultimate betrayal there i can't i honestly can't believe he's helping her out financially um but people aren't giving him credit for some reason someone said she turned her back on him first f her someone said maybe the dude she effed can be her friend Someone said, and I can't imagine being happy in a relationship and sticking my D in something else for the thrill of it. She made her choices. OP stated that that action was a deal breaker. It would be for me too. While I might care how your life goes, I cannot in good conscience be part of that any longer. You'll get my best wishes. You'll not get my company. Let's also not forget, if OP is to be believed, that she had no intentions on coming clean until her friend said, you tell him or I will. So not only is she a cheater, she is also deceitful. No one should put up with that for any reason. Someone said also remember she only told him because her friend forced the issue. She was totally willing to never let him know. And if she's trying to claw him back now, you can bet she would have been extra sure not to tell him if she knew she had cancer. Yep. Now. I've had friends whose partners develop cancer. I've never seen anything more heart-wrenching than someone going through that. And she would have let him do it, knowing that she'd been unfaithful to him. Because the real truth here is that she only really cares about herself and her own needs. If she cared about him at all, she'd have never even told him about the diagnosis. Someone said, wouldn't have, wouldn't have mattered in my opinion if he found out after he knew she had cancer. If you cheat on me, I'm no longer obligated to give a F about you. Simple as that. See, like I said, there's some people that are more savage. This guy is actually paying, so. Even if he did know about the cancer at the time of the breakup, as long as it wasn't one of the explicit reasons why he broke up with her, it isn't a factor. Absolutely. Someone said, also, it, it suggests that being a man is being better. So it's a sexist phrase, even without saying something equivalent to a woman. See also, he's got balls versus he's a vagina. Someone replied to that and said, women who say this crap are usually using it in a situation where manning up means take a messed up end of the deal and get effed over for someone else's benefit. How about they woman up and do it themselves like an adult? Absolutely. And on that note, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I will put the link to this in the description like usual. I personally, NTA, NTA, and the fact that you're still paying, you're going to pay for this finance, you're going to help her financially. 
whether it's the medical bills or just her personal bills because she can't work or whatever it is. I'm not mad. NTA. So, um, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. And I will catch you guys at the next one.